This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching a closer look at the Jetty Central Box 400. Watch as I break down the features of the Central Box 400 available on the SpreeModel.com and JettyUSA.com. First came the Central Box 100. Then Jetty exceeded all expectations with the release of the Central Box 200. Now, Jetty has taken the Central Box to a whole new level with the release of the Central Box 400. The Central Box 400 is a fully programmable switchboard intended for complete power and signal management. It's comprised of a solid aluminum body, 24 outputs, and two independent BECs or battery eliminating circuits. In addition, the Central Box 400 has a unique design that provides overload protection for each one of the servo outputs. Up to two receivers with serial output, as well as two batteries, can be connected at the same time for complete power and RF signal redundancy, making the CB400 a go-to solution when safety of your aircraft is a necessity. Up to two batteries can be connected to the CB400 via the multiplex connectors. Jetty recommends powering the unit with a three-cell LiPo battery. Together, the battery inputs are rated for up to 30 amps continuous and up to 230 amps burst. During use, the power is actually supplied from the battery with the higher voltage. If the voltage is the same, the power can be used from both batteries at the same time. But if the voltage of the batteries are different, the power is not shared and each pack is actually isolated from each other. This allows you to use batteries of different capacity, of different cells, and of different chemistry type. When you're in the advanced power setting, you can actually independently adjust power input voltages. This way, the battery with the higher voltage can actually be used as a battery backup and you can avoid constant charging and cycling both receiver battery packs. The CB400 offers two BECs to power external um, devices. These BEC regulators are connected in parallel and the voltage output is adjustable from five to eight volts, all of steps of one tenth of a volt. It's important to note, however, that the adjustable voltage of the BEC output is always the same as the voltage supplies to the servos, so be very careful. As you can see on our display, we've utilized the BEC output and set up a distribution hub using the Central Box 100. This allows us to utilize the bi-directional communication of the EX bus. For example, we can program servo assignment, we can utilize the CB100 servo protection, and gain access to additional telemetry inputs. It also allows for a cleaner insulation, being that you only have two wires, the power and the signal wire, running to the CB100. Another cool way to simplify insulation is with use of the Emcotec fuselage and wing harnesses. When it comes to telemetry, the CB400 offers four independent telemetry inputs. In addition, it's equipped with eight megabytes of internal memory for storage of your telemetry data collected from both the central box and all of the connected sensors. The central box itself will provide you with the temperature of the central box, the number of the overloaded outputs, the voltage in, output voltage, and BEC output voltage, battery capacity, and current draw. The data from your telemetry is stored in the log directory and will automatically start when your central box detects the signal and will stop when the unit switched off. You can use the included USB cable to connect the central box to a computer for reading out your data, or you can use it to update the central box's firmware. You can also conveniently use your Jetty transmitter to view telemetry data and wirelessly configure your telemetry, your servo outputs, your fail-safe setting, or your fast servo response. We have our DS16 configured to provide us with a verbal real-time telemetry readout by activation of one of the accelerometers. Temperature, 84 Fahrenheit, 6.7 volts, 2 mAh. 
11 milliampere hours. The CB400 has a port specifically for the installation of a switch. We offer the central box 400 in two options. One option will contain the CB400 and three R3 RSW receivers. This will allow you to set up a wireless switch by connection of one of the R3s in the switch port. The second option will include the CB400 and the new magnetic switch. As you can see here, we've set our display up with the wireless switch. I can easily turn it on and off the central box just with the flip of a switch on a transmitter. For more information, please visit our website at either jettyusa.com or spreemodel.com. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.